Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is about my three favorite barrel drills. This video was requested when I made a little um, post about what y'all wanted to see, so here it is. The first one is four barrels set up in a straight line, a good enough distance apart from each other that you can make a good circle and then have a little bit of room to run before the next circle. So this one you're gonna go the same direction around each of the barrels. So you're gonna do a loop and then run to the next one and do a loop and you're doing it all the same direction and we're gonna do it both directions. So first I'm gonna start off going left and then I'll do right. So there's another barrel that you can't see that I just came running from. You want to try and get wider circles around these barrels, but um, my horse did not want to do wider circles. Um, it was not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. We're both still learning. It was helping me learn to sit down. Okay, now we're going to the right. Um, I noticed that she really did not want to let me um, direct her on where to go. So you'll see that maybe in a minute. Um, but you really want to try and get as evenly as possible um, and using your inside leg to keep her from turning and then your outside leg to get them to finish that circle. And so I finished it up here and then I will let her sit for a minute and rest and then we will go again. One thing you really wanna make sure you do is just make sure your horse's mouth is soft and so they're responding really nicely to your pressure and you use your legs to help um, push them over towards your hand and direct them. And make sure that when you're coming up to your barrel, you're sitting down on your pockets and really helping them rate and slow down before actually turning that. Okay, so this next drill is on three barrels set up in the cloverleaf pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do all left circles and then all right circles. She was shutting down a little bit, and so I was trying to kind of pick her up more. She's more on the lazy side. She kind of has no work ethic, but we're working on that. Anyway, you're gonna do like you were with the other drill. You're gonna slow down, sit super deep, right around the barrels as best you can, um, and make sure they're following your hand. And this is a really good one to kind of, you know, it's kind of like doing the barrels, except not. It's all left and then all right. Anyway, make sure you're using your leg to push your horse towards your hand. That'll make it a lot easier to turn. Also, as you can see, she was fighting my hand here. I was trying to push her out more so that she wouldn't um, run into the barrel, but she was fighting my hand a little bit. The other direction, she's a lot better. She's not as good turning to the right. So that is why that looks like that. You wanna try your best to keep your horse soft in its mouth and um, you really wanna sit down right around the barrel and try and have your circles as even as possible. This drill can be really helpful if you do wider circles around them. That was more difficult for us, but you know, try and do as wide as your horse can. And then once you finish the last barrel and you feel good, ask your horse to stop, back him up a couple steps, and then let him go, pat him on the neck and cool him off. Okay, so we are now going to the right. Um, she did pick up the wrong, or going to the left, but turning left. Sorry, my brain stopped working. Yes, we are turning left now. She is a lot better at this. It is kind of harder for me to get her not to hit the barrel because she turns them so tight. But this third was pretty good. Just the same thing with, um, like I said earlier, try and get your horse to follow your hand, use your leg to direct them, and really sit deep and tell them when to slow down. Um, in this, you wanna really make sure that um, you are going as even as possible around these barrels. Um, and the slower the lope, the better. She's kind of zooming around because she doesn't really slow lope very well. Um, but you wanna do kind of a controlled slower lope. She did really good. And so I let her walk around and I'm going to cool her off for a minute. And she did so good. 
Just make sure that you are doing a more controlled lope than we are. When you're doing this, you want to try and be as even as you can around the pole. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so this is a little more difficult. But you're going to go the same direction around each pole, and you're going to do it both directions. So first I'm going to the right. So I wait. I don't let her turn until I tell her to. I sit down on my butt, do the right. Oh my gosh. One hand is kind of difficult. So you're just going to go through each one and don't let her turn until you sit down and tell her to. She went a little too close around that one. So I push her out with my leg. Push her, push her, push her. She still went too wide. This is super hard with one hand. So I'm going to keep her out, keep her out, keep her out with my leg. There we go. Okay, so as I was saying a minute ago, this is a four pole drill. Your poles should be pretty far apart, especially if you're loping, um, or you can have them as close together as you want, depending on your horse. You wanna be as even as you can around each and sitting down and having your horse slow down when you do that. Um, especially if you're loping, you really wanna have them slow down, walk or lope around them and then push them on. Um, again, be as even as possible and have them kind of follow your hand really well. And you can either slow lope this and slowly increase speeds or whatever you want to do. It's your choice. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. So those are my three favorite barrel drills. Of course, doing the pulls at a lope it would be better than a walk, but she is too tired. And yes, I'm feeding my horse treats. Come at me if you want to. I love to spoil my horses. They get lots of treats after their ride. They worked so hard for me and did their best that I want to give them treats and love and lots of love. She also gets to eat out of her alfalfa bag, so she loves untacking. doesn't get sore. Would you like one more? As you see here, I'm just putting some conditioner stuff on her feet, which I'm about to wash off, which I did not think of when I'm cold hosing her legs. I cold hose her legs, all four of them, for two minutes each. Um, just really trying to reduce any hotness in her feet um, and reduce any chance of her becoming sore. She did work really hard today, so I wanted to make sure I cold hose them off. Um, I focus on her hawks a lot with her back feet, and she did so, so good. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment what you want to see next in a video, and subscribe for more if you liked the video. Thank you so much, and see y'all next time.